You've just finished a run and you notice a pain in your foot. You wonder why is your foot hurting after your run? My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, a podiatrist based in Houston with over two decades of experience. This sudden pain can be frustrating. There are a variety of factors that can contribute to this unpleasant discomfort from the shoes you wear to your running technique. There are also a myriad of solutions available to alleviate your pain and prevent future discomfort. In today's video, we'll give you a comprehensive understanding of post-run foot pain, its causes, and how to effectively manage it. We'll also provide practical tips and solutions for dealing with this issue. But before I do, I'd like to send you a book I wrote all about foot injuries from running. It's my gift to you. Visit www.runninginjurybook.com to request your free copy. Also, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find this information. Experiencing foot pain after your run isn't just uncomfortable. It's a sign that something about your running technique or gear may need adjustment. This discomfort can stem from a range of issues, from incorrect footwear to imbalances in your stride. Overuse and muscle strain often serve as common culprits behind the foot pain you may feel after a running session. It happens when you've pushed your foot muscles beyond their limits or not allowed enough recovery time between runs. This strain can lead to microscopic tears in the muscle fibers, resulting in pain and inflammation. To avoid this, it's crucial that you don't increase your running distance or intensity too quickly. Gradually build up your activity level, ensuring your muscles get the rest they need to recover and strengthen. If you're already experiencing pain, consider physical therapy or strength exercises to help heal and protect your muscles. Don't neglect foot pain. It can be a sign of an underlying issue that needs attention. Slipping on inappropriate shoes or running without adequate foot support can significantly contribute to your post-run pain. Your feet bear the brunt of your impact when you run, so they need sufficient cushioning and support. Poor fitted or worn out shoes don't provide this, putting undue stress on your arches, heels, and toes. As a rule of thumb, a pair of running shoes should be changed every 350 to 400 miles. Moreover, the lack of arch support can lead to conditions like plantar fasciitis. Consider investing in running shoes designed for your foot type and running style. Consult a podiatrist or a shoe specialist for guidance. Additionally, orthotic inserts can enhance shoe comfort and support. Beneath the surface of routine foot pain after running, underlying conditions could be lurking contributing to the discomfort experienced. Conditions such as plantar fasciitis, stress fractures, or Achilles tendonitis are common culprits. Among the various conditions causing foot pain after running, plantar fasciitis stands out as a particularly common issue, often manifesting as a sharp stabbing pain on the bottom of your foot near the heel. This discomfort arises from inflammation or small tears in the plantar fascia a thick band of tissue that connects your heel bone to your toes. It's particularly noticeable first thing in the morning or after a long period of standing. To alleviate the pain, you can try stretching exercises, wearing supportive shoes, or using ice. If your pain persists, it's advisable to contact your podiatrist. Ignoring plantar fasciitis can lead to chronic heel pain that could hinder your regular activities, including running. Another prevalent source of foot pain after running is Achilles tendonitis, a condition that affects the tendon connecting your calf muscles to the back of your heel bone. This tendon, when overuse or stress, becomes inflamed, causing pain and discomfort. You'll typically feel this pain along the back of your legs or above your heel, particularly after running or other physical activities. To manage Achilles tendonitis, you should rest and ice the affected areas. It's also beneficial to do gentle stretching exercises and to gradually increase your physical activity to avoid additional strain. If the pain persists, it's crucial to see a podiatrist as it may indicate a more serious condition such as an Achilles tendon rupture. Stress fractures often emerge as a silent menace for runners, characterized by tiny cracks in a bone caused by repetitive force or overuse. 
Unlike acute fractures, they're frequently unnoticed until the pain becomes too intense to ignore. You might experience a gradual onset of pain that intensifies with physical activity and subsides with rest. Swelling, tenderness, and bruising may also occur. If you suspect a stress fracture, it's crucial to seek medical advice promptly. Treatment typically involves rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Often, immobilization will be necessary. You'll need to temporarily stop running and switch to low impact activities. It's crucial to see your podiatrist if you're consistently experiencing a pain after running. A professional diagnosis can identify any underlying conditions, enabling appropriate treatment and prevention strategies. Before visiting your podiatrist for your foot pain after running, it's beneficial to conduct a self-assessment. You're ideally placed to identify the precise area any discomfort and recognize any patterns in the pain. To accurately identify the source of your foot pain after running, it's essential to conduct a thorough self-assessment, focusing particularly on pinpointing the precise area of discomfort. Start by inspecting your foot for any obvious signs of injury like swelling or bruising. Then gently press on different areas of your foot, applying slight pressure to identify any tender spots. Remember to check the heel, ball of your foot, arch, and the top of your foot, along with your toes. It's crucial not to ignore any pain, even if it seems insignificant. Identifying the exact location of your pain is the first step in determining its cause and subsequently devising a suitable treatment plan. Often, recognizing patterns in your foot pain can provide valuable insights to its underlying causes and potential treatment options. Does the pain occur consistently after each run? Or does it surface randomly, possibly related to specific terrain or running styles? Noting these patterns is crucial. Sharp sudden pain may indicate a stress fracture or a pulled muscle. Dull, lingering discomfort can be a sign of tendinitis or plantar fasciitis. Pain that intensifies as you run may point to a sprain or compartment syndrome. Understanding these patterns can help your podiatrist pinpoint the problem and receive appropriate treatment. Remember, it's not just about enduring the pain. It's about knowing the why behind it to take proactive steps towards your recovery. Your choice of running shoes can significantly impact your foot's comfort and health underscoring the importance of selecting proper footwear. Opt for a shoe that offers support for your particular foot type. A flat foot would do best in a motion control shoe. A high arch foot should wear a neutral shoe. A foot with the average arch height will do best in a stability shoe. Remember, it's not the price tag, but the fit and functionality that count. Be sure to replace your shoes every 350 to 400 miles, as worn out shoes can also cause foot pain. Investing time and thought into choosing the right running shoe can prevent post-run foot discomfort. Finally, incorporating cross-training into your routine and taking regular rest days can significantly reduce your risk of experiencing foot pain after your run. Cross-training exercises such as cycling or swimming work different muscle groups, which help alleviate the load on your feet. This variety also prevents overuse injuries, common in runners. Rest days, on the other hand, are crucial for recovery. They allow your body, and especially your feet, to heal and strengthen. Without adequate rest, the stress of running can lead to inflammation and pain. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. I wrote a book all about foot and ankle injuries from running, and I'm happy to send you a free copy visit www.runninginjurybook.com to request a copy. The link is in the description. If you've been experiencing pain consistently after you run, it's best to get a check sooner than later. Be sure to contact the office for an appointment so we can get to the bottom of your foot pain. The link to request an appointment is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.